The Mulwani Pass is named after the river which marks the start of the pass on the eastern side. It would usually be driven in conjunction with Collings Pass as they are on the same road and follow one another almost back to back. The pass has a simple low high profile and has fairly mild gradients throughout making it an easy drive for most vehicles in good weather. It offers excellent views over the KwaZulu-Natal grasslands towards the high mountains in the west and to the north where the nearby Norman Dean Pass is located. We filmed this pass from east to west. The pass begins at the crossing of a bridge over the Mulwani River. The gradient remains quite flat and straight as the road passes between green meadows along the river banks then curves to the right and enters a grove of tall acacia trees. A shallow bend to the left follows, then the road straightens out for a short stretch before a fork in the road is reached. Make sure that you take the left hand option as the right hand side will take you to a farmstead. The road now bends through a long left hand curve and at this point the gradient increases considerably. This is followed by a series of corners as the road winds its way up the mountainside. The road surface remains good throughout the section and the only hazards likely to be encountered are farm animals. None of the corners are particularly sharp but be constantly alert for the possibility of oncoming traffic although this is likely to be restricted to the local farmers due to the remoteness of this location. As this video is filmed in the ascending mode it's difficult to see the beautiful views that are presented as the pass is climbed and altitude is gained. So if you're driving the pass in this direction, take the time to stop near the top of the pass and look back towards the east. The high mountains to the north are also worth a photograph or two. During late summer and autumn, many of the roads in this area are lined with cosmos, the beautiful pink and white flowers sometimes stretching almost as far as the eye can see. The flower originates in Central America and was introduced to South Africa when the seeds were mixed with feed imported for the British military horses during the Anglo-Boer Wars. As the altitude increases, the vegetation becomes more sparse as grassland takes over and the number of trees diminish. A shallow culvert has been created on the left hand side of the road to control water runoff which would certainly be required during the frequent summer thunderstorms that this area experiences. As you crest the skyline and the gradient flattens out, you'll get a good view of the high mountains to the west, which are your next obstacle on this route. A very long shallow bend to the right is followed by a curve to the left, then the pass ends as you reach an intersection exactly at the 5 kilometer point. Mm -hmm.